Hi there, welcome to the definitive guide to Power BI, your ultimate resource for mastering Microsoft Power BI and preparing for the Microsoft PL300 certification. In this comprehensive course, you will deep dive into the world of data analysis and business intelligence. Whether you are a novice or an intermediate user, our expertly crafted lectures and hands-on exercises will equip you with the skills needed to harness the full potential of Power BI. First of all, about us. Well, our vision is to empower individuals and organizations worldwide by fostering data literacy and enabling them to make impactful data-driven decisions. We provide data analytics solutions using Microsoft data analytics technologies such as Power BI, Microsoft Fabric, Azure, etc. And we specialize in consulting, training, and video tutorials. Now let's talk about me. My name is Ajay Kumar and I have more than 30 years of work experience in data and analytics. Currently, I'm working and living in the Netherlands and working for one of the most famous daily joint that is Friesland Campino as a solution architect and capability lead. I started my career in 2010 from Aon Hewitt, which was the Hewitt Associates back then in India. And then I also traveled to Singapore where I worked around four years. And now for the last more than two years, I'm working and living in the Netherlands. I'm also a Microsoft certified trainer since 2020, and I have achieved so many different certifications in data and analytics fields, not only just data and analytics, but I have also learned other tools and technologies in the fields of IT. You can see my certifications and also if you would like to connect with me on LinkedIn, you can connect with me. You can find my LinkedIn address on the screen. Now the question comes, what are you going to learn in this Microsoft Power BI tutorial? How this can help you to achieve your career goals? How this can help you to make a career as a Power BI developer? This course has been designed specifically for the beginners and this is a project based course. That means when you are going to start learning from here, you are going to start as a beginner. But at the end of this tutorial, you would have a knowledge of an intermediate Power BI developer, which means that once you would finish this course and you would do all the exercises, your knowledge would be equivalent to a Power BI developer who has two to four years of work experience. Now, it totally depends on you that how much you learn from it, but we will try our best that you get out of it the best knowledge. In the very first module over here, we are going to introduce to you the Power BI. That means you would learn what is Power BI, why you need Power BI, what is Power BI Desktop and Power BI Services and other elements of Microsoft Power BI ecosystem, how you can install it and what would be its architecture, etc. In the second module, we would let you learn how you can connect and shape your data. That means how you can basically transform your data to the desired format, how you can improve the quality of the data, what sort of checks you can do, how you can create a different columns, or maybe you want to transform data into another form. That's what you are going to learn over there in the second module. After that, we are going to move to the module number three, where you would learn creating a data model. Well, data model is going to help you to create a relationship between the different tables. And what are the tables? Tables are simply rows and columns like you have seen in the Excel files where you store your data. And these all tables are going to store in a database. So we are going to fetch all those tables. We are going to create a relationship between them. And we are going to need those relationships to get the right data for the right visualization or to gain the insights. Moving on, we will go for calculating measures with tax, where you would learn the tax functions, how you can use them to do the calculations or the advanced calculations, what are the most important tax functions that you need to know. We are going to cover some of them, but I'm also going to leave you some of the links in the bonus sections where you would learn more about the tax as well. Once we have completed our four modules, then we are going to jump into the designing part where we are going to design different visualizations or a report or a dashboards using Microsoft Power BI and we will see that how we can do that efficiently with all the Microsoft Power BI best practices. At last, we are also going to optimize the Power BI performance. And there, all the best practices kicks in. Not only the best practices, I'm also going to let you know that what are the other options that you can also turn on on Power BI service, which are going to help you to boost the performance. But not only that, I'm also going to let you know how to measure the performance of your Power BI reports and dashboards. At last is the bonus section where I'm going to introduce you with the Power BI certification. Also, we are going to provide you question and answers so that you can complete or appear for your Microsoft Power BI certification. Not only that, there's another hidden bonus for you 
which you will get at the end of module number 7. So this was a quick introduction about this course, what you are going to learn and why you should go for this course. After that, we are going to start the module number 1. So I'm going to see you in the module number 1.